Spurs against Nottingham Forest. Forest, unbeaten in the league since last November, in the last eight of the European and Football League Cups. While it's been a grey and misty morning in London, even so a crowd of 50,000 were at White Hart Lane awaiting the arrival of the Football League champions. And here they come, Nottingham Forest, champions of England, unbeaten in their last 37 games, unbeaten in their last 39 league games, and with just one defeat in their last 59 games. These men have really created records that take your breath away. And you don't need me to tell you who's behind it all. Here he is, Brian Clough, of course, manager extraordinary. And he'd be the first to tell you that the man just going out of the picture there, Peter Taylor, his right-hand man, has had just as much to do with this phenomenal success as he has. Brian Clough getting a great reception from this Tottenham crowd. That's good to see, and you have to admit that he deserves it. This then is the Forest team today, and they come with a heavy injury list without Kenny Burns, John McGovern, Colin Barrett, Frank Clark, Martin O'Neill. Even so, Forest have faced this sort of crisis before, not least when they won 3-2 against Everton at Goodison Park in the League Cup last Tuesday. The only question today is can they maintain this magnificent record against this Tottenham side? Well, Spurs have got Glenn Hoddle fit, but goalkeeper Barry Danes has not made it, and 20-year-old Mark Kendall makes his second appearance the first was last week at Norwich. Well, it's the pass here for Adidas. It's a beautiful pass if McAllister can get there. Anderson did well to stop him. And that very nearly went home, though, as Lee and Hollow were both in there. That was some good work by McAllister. And a good save there from Peter Shilton, the shot by John Pratt. Forrest was certainly in trouble a moment before when McAllister turned that ball in and turned it in so well. And then Pratt let go, and Shilton held on to it. Lacey then. Lee. Two Spurs players in the wall, in fact, now Perriman and McAllister. Now, will Hobble, will Ardiles, or will Taylor? Direct free kick, of course, handball. Hobble. Oh, he's hit the crossbar! And they are thankful to scramble that one away. And the ball out of play. Well, Hoddle, as he took that free kick, a beautiful little curler. Uh, Shilton really hadn't a prayer, but he was saved by his crossbar. Gemmell playing it for Robertson. Now Mills. Played in nicely for Anderson. Those long legs have got the cross in, and it was very nearly David Needham. Anderson got in well there, and uh, Needham, who loves to come up and attack, just couldn't quite find the header. Holmes. Holmes for Taylor. Now, can he get it across? He has, he's got it across beautifully. Shilton only half getting it away, but it's in there! And it's Lee who's done it! Ruled out! Linesman flagging, it will not count. Lee doesn't know it yet. Linesman's there, and now they know that it's been ruled out. 
And Forrest have got it underway again. And it could only have been the linesman flagging for a foul on Peter Shilton as that long cross from Peter Taylor came in. And although Lee hammered it home, the linesman have got his flag up. Mills on the far side. Bertels. Now with Anderson. And it comes to Gemmell. He didn't really mean it, but it came to him in the end. Anderson, that's a goal for Nottingham Forest. Beating the uh, goalkeeper, Mark Kendall. And Viv Anderson has done it again. Taking that ball well into the Tottenham penalty area and then finding a really swift shot to beat Kendall to put Forrest 1-0 into the lead. Pratt. Martinez. And here come Forrest. Well, they've looked certainly more menacing in attack since they scored than at any other time in the game. They're getting a few men up. And here's Robertson. Oh, he's sending Naylor one way, then the other. Oh, and a brilliant goal by Robertson. That surely is going to wrap it up. And that was a virtuoso piece of wing play by John Robertson. Just look at the game, the way he turned Terry Naylor once, twice three times and then a stunning shot across the face of the goal and Mark Kendall and just inside the far post Peter Taylor oh Spurs have got to score one now and quickly to keep their heads up and here's Hoddle can he do something oh and he very nearly caught Shilton out Delightful piece of play by Hoddle. A beautifully placed little chip shot, and it uh, caught Peter Shilton backpedalling. And in the end, he just got the touch that mattered, and over the top it went. Gemmell finding Bertels. Oh, this looks promising if he can find Woodcock, and he can, but Woodcock is offside. Nothing much in it. He's offside. It won't count, Tony. <laughs> But here's Peter Taylor. Wait a minute, that's a good shot, and that's a brilliant save by Shilton again. Such virtue in that piece of goalkeeping. Taylor hit it well, and I certainly had the impression there was a flick of a deflection on the way to Shilton. But his handling was absolutely supreme. to Pratt. Oh, it's a goal! That counts! Shilton beaten at last, but beaten by a cruel deflection. And it'll be John Pratt who will claim that to goal. Pratt shot, a deflection, and Shilton beaten. The whistle had gone, and... Uh, Peter Taylor and Brian Clough both off the bench again. There's a certain amount of animation now in that uh, Nottingham Forest bench. It's with Gamble. Oh, here. Yeah. All the way for Battles. That's given. Three one it is. Mark Kendall picks the ball out of the net. And Gary Bertels goes through there. The two, you say the two managers there nudging each other, Peter Taylor and Brian Clough, and Peter Taylor saying, that's it, it's over. As Bertels went through there and stuck it wide of Mark Kendall and making the scoreline Spurs 1, Forest 3. Emilio. And offside against Tony Woodcock. He's done a great job, in fact, today for Nottingham Forest because he's always been outnumbered up front, just he and Bertels. Four in the midfield, four at the back. Here's Velia going on past Archie Gamble, but Forest get it away again, and the final whistle goes with Nottingham Forest record intact.
Peter Taylor goes away and Brian Clough goes away what a fantastic record he and his team have brought to White Hart Lane and in fact the record that they've kept the crowd can only look on and wonder how on earth this man does it one defeat now in 60 games unbeaten in the last 38 and in the last 40 in the Football League these men in red shirts of Nottingham Forest have set records really that I would have thought are going to be unbeatable Brian Clough well what can you say about him he's got a charisma and a magic that nobody else in the game seems to have at the moment you saw for yourself the reception he got from the Spurs crowd before the game. Well, afterwards I spoke to him about that, but also about a game where Forrest scored three times and conceded one. Yeah, we were not too happy with the goals we conceded. We're never happy with goals we conceded. We're very greedy with, you know, with our mm. uh, goals we either score or goals we conceded. We're not too happy with that. Is it fair to say that your philosophy when you came here was first of all with four men across the middle of the field and four at the back to contain Tottenham and then maybe to strike on the break? It's certainly fair to say that we had four men across the middle of the field, but not fair to say that we were trying to contain Tottenham. We don't try and contain anybody apart from you. You mean you do contain them? You don't try, you actually do it? Is that yes, what you're we do it without telling everybody. Yes. This, this record, is, is it something that you're aware of? Is it something that's a burden for you and the players? Or? We try and shove it at the back of our minds as best we can, and we take every game. You've heard it a million times before, but we do take every game as it comes, and every game is a mountain to us. Tottenham's cup final was today. And we play an awful lot of cup finals, week in, week out. We went to Everton on Tuesday, and there was a cup final there. And we got a result there, and we've got one today, and we'll have one next week, and, you know. Some of your players looked physically a little bit on the floor, shall we say, towards the end of the game. And I suppose that's justifiable and reasonable, isn't it, to expect that? No, it's not. With all the games they've had? No, it's not. They're not on the floor, and they're not jaded. I thought the opposition would. And they won't and will not be on the floor until we're lying on a beach in Calamalaw with you, or being well. You were invited last year, and the first or second week of May. You got a marvellous reception yourself when you came out from the Tottenham crowd, and you were looking and you were bowing at them, and, and people regard you something of a messiah. Are you, are you unique in management, do you think, yourself? Brian, I worked with you now for many, many years. You know me inside out. I'm me. Certainly not unique, and certainly not different. Just me. One of the big reasons for Forrest's continuing success was the form yesterday of Peter Shilton in goal. Both Brian Clough and Peter Taylor have said before that Peter's worth 10 points a season to them, and that's what wins championships. And Shilton's yesterday performance was a winning one. Madison did well to stop him, and that very nearly went home, though, as Lee and Hollow were both in there. That was some good work by McAllister, and a good save there. Well, I personally feel, but, you know, it's only opinion, obviously, that he's the best goalkeeper in the country. But it's opinion that stimulates the interest in football, whether people get the sack or whether they're retained and all that type of thing. I feel that Peter Shilton is the best goalkeeper. I felt that since the second I paid £300,000 for him and nobody else would touch him. And there's all the, not controversy, but everybody says, should it be Ray Clements or should it be Peter Shilton? So in fact, you, uh, to put it on the record, are the best of buddies, aren't you? Oh, yes, of course, but obviously... Are you roomed together when you go away with the greatest him? arrivals, you know, I mean, uh, let's make no mistake about it. I mean, I'd give me the right arm to get back in the England team, and, uh, um, you know, I've had a couple of games, and, uh, you know, I felt I did reasonably well. And uh, to sort of really establish yourself, I think you need two or three games, and hopefully uh, I'll just wait my chance, and when I do get in, uh, that I do get two or three games that uh, yes. I can sort of show what I can do. So, not...